What's up guys, Vile here, and today in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about Advanced Warfare and how we should have some realistic expectations for this game. Now, the reason I'm making this commentary is because every single year, year after year, I see the same thing. I see people getting hyped up for Call of Duty, you know, they got their hopes up, this is going to be the, the best Call of Duty yet, I can't wait for this Call of Duty, it's going to be so awesome, they're going to fix all these problems, and then the game comes out. And these people get slapped in the face by this big, rude hand of reality. And then they spend the entire year complaining about Call of Duty. Talking about how it's the worst one yet. How the last year's version was much better than this bullshit crap. And it, it, it's just really annoying to me. So I want you guys to just think for a second and realize that Call of Duty has always sort of had the same issues year in and year out. And this year with Advanced Warfare, it's not going to be any different. So don't get your hopes up. The game's going to be fun. It's going to be crazy. I'm pretty sure a lot of people that play it are going to like it. But you got to understand, the same issues that plagued every other Call of Duty before this are going to plague this one as well. You're going to see lag. You're going to have problems with lag compensation. You're going to see problems with hit detection. And your bullet's not registering. This stuff comes with the territory when you're dealing with online shooters, especially, you know, games like Call of Duty, fast pace, you know, competitive online shooters. You're going to see weapons that are annoying, weapons that annoy you. Like, for instance, there's a rocket launcher that locks onto people. It doesn't just lock onto aircrafts and, and killstreaks, it actually locks onto people. So imagine getting killed by that thing two or three times in a match. You were going to rage like a bitch, and you know it. There's going to be annoying killstreaks. There's going to be annoying equipment everything you fight you might have seen footage of this um i don't know the names of anything yet but they throw a grenade and it basically highlights all the enemies in red um i mean imagine getting killed and watching that in the kill cam you're gonna be like oh stupid fucking noob using this stupid newbie grenade it's like target finder bullshit you know what i mean um you're gonna see campers <laughs> doesn't matter regardless of how advanced your exoskeleton suit is you could be dashing jumping, you know, all this kind of stuff, there's always going to be those guys that are more comfortable sitting in a corner, waiting for you to pop your head around the corner, whether you're dashing, double jumping, or just walking along, they're going to take you out and it's going to piss you off. I mean, it's a fact, it's a fact, it's part of the game, none of us like it, but those assholes are always going to be there. Um, you're going to see flawed matchmaking, you're going to get into those lobbies where, you know, you're a uh, level 10 and you're up against a, a lobby full of, you know, max prestigers and you're with a bunch of guys who are, you know, first and second prestige. That's gonna happen. I don't know why that happens, but that it happens. You're gonna see host migrations. Uh, I don't know if this game has dedicated servers or not. I haven't really looked into it. I heard that it doesn't. So if it doesn't, be prepared to see some host migrations. Even if it does, it'll probably be hybrid servers, much like Ghost was. So be prepared to see some host migrations. I mean, the, the list can go on and on. Another, here's another one: quick scoping. Don't bet any money that quick scoping is out of this game. In fact, I would bet more money that there's going to be even more quick scoping in this game than there was in Ghost and Black Ops 2, due to the fact that people want to now use the new EXO abilities with their quick scoping skills to make even more dynamic you know, montages and kill feeds and all that kind of stuff. So, along with everything I just mentioned and every other bit of complete, total bullshit that basically plagues Call of Duty each and every year, I'm pretty sure the game's gonna be pretty damn fun and pretty damn enjoyable for most people. But just go into it with realistic expectations. Don't go into it thinking this is gonna be the holy grail of Call of Duty not, you know, that it's going to be perfect, there's not going to be any issues with it, because that's when you set yourself up for disappointment. And, I mean, I'm probably one of the very few people that I know who actually enjoyed Ghosts and played it. I mean, I haven't played Ghosts in the last couple weeks, but I played it nearly every single day up until, like, the last few weeks. And I enjoyed it. And yeah, it pissed me off. There's, you know, I raged at it and all this stuff. But I was, I never ever said I hate Ghosts or Ghosts is the shittiest one in the series or, you know, nothing like that. But I see so much hate for Ghosts and I know that it's because these people got their hopes up so high before the game came out and then it 
once it was released, it they got slapped in the face with all these issues, and then, you know, people just don't realize that these issues come with the territory, okay? Even things like quick scoping. Like, quick scoping is not just something that they can take out of the game, and they can just remove it or just nerf it to the point where people can't do it anymore. Because there's a there's a balance, there's a line where if you nerf a weapon too much, it become it goes to the point where it's almost unusable and nobody's even gonna touch it. And that's kinda where sniper rifles are at. They're either gonna be to the point where nobody uses them at all, or at the point where people do use them and they're able to quick scope with them. And the developers and the fans want to be able to use sniper rifles, so that's how it is. That's the medium they, they settle with. Um, you know, it's gonna be easier to avoid getting hit by a quick scope due to the fact that you can dodge out of the way and dash out of the way and stuff like that. So, you know, from what I've played and from what I've seen and from what I've heard, Advanced Warfare definitely takes more skill than other Call of Duties, so that's something you have to look forward to. Um, getting killed by campers won't be as easy. It won't be as easy for campers to kill. It won't be as easy for quick scopers. It won't be as easy for, you know, the annoying weapons and annoying attachments and all this stuff to get the better, the, get the best of you in a gunfight. Because, you know I mean, if you're really skillful and you really learn how to use these exo abilities to their fullest potential, then you should be able to traverse the maps and basically run shop all you want. Of course, pending that the lag isn't completely horrible, which we don't know, it could be. Uh, when I played Advanced Warfare, it was on land setting and it was smooth as fucking hell and I loved it, but I mean, we can't all have that glorious LAN uh, setting when we're playing online, obviously. Anyways, guys, this was just going to be a quick commentary, so I'm going to wrap it up here anyways. I want you guys to just please, if you're getting advanced, advanced Warfare, if you're excited for it like I am, please go into it with realistic expectations. Don't expect this game to be flawless or, you know, the crown jewel of Call of Duties. It's going to have its problems. It's going to have its issues, and... I hate to say this, but if you go into it thinking otherwise, then you're setting yourself up for disappointment, and you're basically an idiot. Anyways, that's my piece, that's my time, wrapping it up here. Bye, self, out.